What's up y'all, I'm Kari Imani and welcome back to Imani Jean. I am so excited about this video. I've been learning tons of information y'all about how to be a true creator, how to make live streaming so much easier for you guys. And I found out the top five apps, I'm talking about web apps and mobile apps that you can use to do live streaming without the course, without the software downloads, just a simple app and you can also um, use this app on your PC, your Mac, your Chromebook. So the number one app that's my favorite, I love Switcher Studio. Y'all, it is so amazing. And I'm realizing that a lot of people now are actually using these apps. <laughs> I've been looking at Facebook Lives and you know, that's all that people have time for now is doing live streaming. So I've been looking at how people, people have been using these apps and uploading lower thirds overlays and switching from different camera views. I'm like, I know these people are not using high tech camera equipment because <laughs> it is like, it's so simple. It's so easy. I downloaded it on my iPhone and I've used it just one camera view, but I've noticed that if I want another camera view, I can easily upload that camera view using another Apple product. Um, I would definitely suggest using another iPhone or iPad, but you can have those multiple camera views using Switcher Studio. You can upload overlays, invite different guests, y'all, and invite people to join into your um, live streaming if they also have Switcher Studio or if they have a link or whatever to join into your um, live stream. You can also upload the live comments onto the live feed so that other people can see the comments. It is crazy, y'all. Like, you don't need any cores. It's super simple, super easy. All you have to do is download Switcher Studio. So that's my top pick. Uh, second is Wirecast Go. You guys, this is just as amazing as Switcher Studio. I will only say um, a couple of cons would be that you have to pay per month. Um, now, each um, software is, well, each app is a different monthly cost. So just pertaining to what your budget may be, you'll you know, figure out what works for you, but it's worth the price, y'all. It is worth paying per month for these apps. If you want your Facebook to be the best and just looking as if you had all of the live production equipment behind the scenes, but really you don't, <laughs> your girl got an iPad, an iPhone, okay? <laughs> you would need to download these apps. It is so worth it, so worth paying per month. But Wirecast Go, you can do the same as if um, you had Switcher Studio. You can upload the live comments to your feed. You can have multiple views. You can also, you guys, if you pay per month, if, if, if you are um, an subscriber, you can have your live going to multiple platforms at once. That's called simultaneously streaming. So you can stream simultaneously if you are a subscriber. Um, so it is worth the payment y'all don't let these you know things make you have fear and not want to be um, a subscriber you know pay per month for these apps like it is so worth it, it is really worth it if you want to um, draw in the more views and more audiences to your streams you will do what it takes okay so for the web apps, there are three top apps that I would recommend. First app is StreamYard. StreamYard is really simple. It's really um, basic. <laughs> um, I will say that when it comes to versus having uh, the Canon XA and all of the high tech uh, equipment, um, you know that you can transition from one you to another you really can't do that with StreamYard. um it's really when i say basic it's really basic okay <laughs> now you can have that one view um this is for pcs chromebooks um macbooks 
So you can go to StreamYard.com and just look up how to start your broadcast and you can broadcast to YouTube, Facebook, um, Periscope, y'all. It's tons of ways that you can stream um, to multiple platforms using StreamYard. Okay, so I'm if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my uh, MacBook. So, um, yeah, you can upload logos, do different overlays um, without any software downloads. Again, this is so simple, so easy. And if you want to do more, you got to pay them bucks, okay? You got to pay that money. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Um, second is Be Live Studio. Be Live is just as basic as StreamYard. Um, it is easy, it's simple. You can do the same, upload your uh, overlays. Now, it is a bit tricky. Um, it doesn't allow you, because I was trying to uh, overlay a PNG and it wouldn't do the transparent you know, background. When it overlaid it, it was kind of like a blue background, so that's another uh, con I would say for the web app. Um, it's not as professional as you would like it to look, as clean and modest as you would like it to look, but it works. It gets the job done, <laughs> basically. And then last is Livestream. Livestream, I didn't play around with it much because it gave me a little bit of uh, headache, I will say. <laughs> Um, it was simple. It had the um, way that I can invite, you know, my guests onto my stream and give them the, you know, the copy link or the invitation, if you will say, um, to join into the live stream. Um, I will say that is a major um, pro for these web apps is that you can invite different guests, multiple guests onto your stream using these apps. So without all the cores, you don't need any downloads, y'all. It is crazy. Like, it is so worth it. You will have to pay again for these web apps. If you want to do more, you got to give up that change, okay? And it's worth it. It's not a lot at all. It's not a lot. You simply go onto the website and start your broadcast. Bra <laughs> your broadcast, excuse me, uh, for free. It is so simple so easy just start your broadcast and you are live on YouTube Facebook wherever um, and at the same time if you want to so those are my top five apps I hope you guys use these apps to the best of your ability if you don't have that professional high-tech camera or whatever however you want to stream you can use these apps y'all without any cords um, and you can use them at the same time using different views on different iPads, different iPhones, whatever, y'all. It is crazy. So get to creating, y'all. Don't just sit at home and don't do anything. Get to creating. You can do it simplest way ever. Easy, simple while you're at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, share, share. I love you guys so much. Can't wait for you to see the next video. And um, I'll see you later. Bye, y'all.